Okay, nickel plated iron wool. Here's how that's done in a watch bath. Got one going right now. It'll plate it'll gain uh, it'll go from eight point three grams to about fourteen grams in several hours. Alright, and then you press it into a form right here at about six or eight tons of pressure, it depends on the size of the pad, and you get this. You get a cell membrane, that's what I call it. And what you do with that, you got an iron one, which is this is iron. I've got to make a nickel one, and you embed a wire in it before you press it, which is here a nickel plated a wire, iron wire, and this goes this process right here. You get it presses down, you put the chemical in the middle of the pad, the steel wool pad or nickel wool pad, and you press it and it comes out like what I've just shown. And then if you like, you can affix these in a grid, in a, a nickel plated uh, iron grid with a little tab that you can spot weld on and make a large cell plate. Well, the process here, what I've got is, this is what I'm working on right now. Making flake nickel, take a metal plate, this is off of an old computer, it has uh, baked on plastic on one side, plate it with a nickel, get a good nickel plate on it, take it out of the nickel plate, take the power off of it, and the nickel becomes passive. Nickel will plate back on it, but it won't stick. And what you have is, if you see here, it just flakes up and makes like little, uh, small nickel flakes that you can scrape off with a razor blade. You can do this over and over and over and over. Edison had a wheel in a plating vat, a steel wheel that he nickel plated, and then he had it turning slowly with a scraper so it would continuously make nickel flake. Well, anyway, that's the tutorial for today. This is uh, the chemical medium for the one I'm working on now. This is a nickel, a, a Nicholas hydroxide. This will go inside of this nickel pad when I press it into a thing here to hold the chemical. Theoretically, uh, for every gram of nickel hydroxide that's inside of this plate, it will produce anywhere between 100 and 200 milliamps, depends on the contact area. So uh, this has the potential of making three, maybe three, four, five amps. I don't know. I'll find it. I'll fix and run some tests this weekend, maybe if I get time. But anyway, that's it for today.